Hi, I'm Tanisha and you're watching this video with JustTutors.com. Today we'll be learning about statistics. And in this video, we'll learn about finding mean by assumed mean method. So before we move on to the topic for today, let us try some warm-up questions first. But if you want to try the questions by yourself, you can pause the video and match your answers later. So let's start with question number one that says solve the following. A part is 11.5 take away 2.35 so the answer for this is going to be 9.15 and the B part says 112.6 times 2.8 the answer would be 315.28 let's come to question number two that says find the mean of this data so we can find the total of all the marks secured by all these children here that is 245 and to find the mean, we need to divide the sum by the number of students. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it means 245 divided by 5, which is equal to 49. Hence, the mean is 49. Pat your back if you've got all the answers absolutely correct. Well done. Now let's move on to the topic for today. So we'll be learning about the assumed mean method. So let's try to understand it with the help of an example. And the question says, look at the table and find the mean by assumed mean method. So assumed mean method is just an extension of direct method. Let's see how it is a little bit different from that. So the first step is exactly as that of direct method. We need to find out the mid values. And remember, the mid values are just the class marks that can be find out as upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2. And these mid values are known as the x size for the further question. So if the class interval was 10 to 25, the limit can be found by 10 plus 25 divided by 2, which would be 17.5. Then for 25 to 40, 25 add 40 divided by 2, which will be 32.5 and so on. So we've got the X size already and the number of students here shows the number of FI that we have. So we've got the observations with their respective frequencies. Now, the next step is to assume a mean already from the x size that we have got. So you can select any value out of this column. But for now, for this question, we have selected 47.5 as the assumed mean. Now, after selecting the assumed mean, we find the di's, which are nothing but xi take away the assumed mean that we are talking, which is 17.5 take away 47.5, that becomes minus 30. Then 32.5 take away 47.5, which is minus 15. Then 47.5 take away 47.5, which is 0. Then 62.5 take away 47.5 would be 15. Likewise, 77.5 take away 47.5 would be 30 and 92.5 take away 47.5 will be 45. And the last step would be to find out FI DI. Remember that we are now considering the DIs. So we'll be multiplying the frequencies with the DIs. So we need to do 2 times minus 30 which will be minus 60. Likewise, 3 times minus 15 would be minus 45, 7 times 0 would be 0, 6 times 15 would be 90, 6 times 30 would be 180, 6 times 45 would be 270. Now we need to find the total of FIDI which would be 435 in this case. Now to find the mean, of course, we have a definite formula which is x bar is equal to a plus sigma fi di divided by sigma fi where a is the assumed mean that we have taken. We can even derive the formula so we can start by d bar is equal to sigma fi di upon sigma fi which is the formula for direct mean. Now we know that di was xi minus a that we have just used in the previous table. So we are just replacing di by xi minus a. Now d bar is equal to sigma fi xi upon sigma fi minus sigma fi a upon sigma fi. So we are just separating the bracket now. Now we have got d bar is equal to x bar minus a fi 
sigma fi upon sigma fi that was the formula for sigma for x bar from the direct method so that comes here and we have taken a in the front and that becomes sigma fi over sigma fi that can be cancelled out of course so the next step becomes d bar is equal to x bar minus a we are just taking a on the other side that gives us x bar is equal to a plus d bar and d bar is the thing with which we have started so hence the formula is right here now we have got the formula and we have got all the values already in this table so we just need to substitute it remember that a is 47.5 sigma fi di is 435 so let's try to substitute the value that was 47.5 at bracket 435 divided by 30 that was sigma fi so now we are dividing it that becomes 14.5 and we can find out that the mean of this question would be 62 so this is how we use the assumed mean method to find out the value and now we've got one practice question for you so you can pause the video but do not forget to match your answer right here thank you for watching the video for more please log on to justutors.com